Hi folks, Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show and uh, ChrisVossGaming.com. Uh, you can check out our podcast on Chris Voss Gaming Podcast and also the Chris Voss Show Podcast as well if you subscribe over there and the CVPN.com or ChrisVossPodcastNetwork.com. Um, so I got a chance to review uh, Moons of Madness. You can check it out. You can go to MoonsOfMadness.com and... Um, it uh, currently is out now on PC. It will be out on Xbox and PS4 January 21st of 2020. Uh, I was kind of attracted to review this uh, a couple different ways. The graphics looked really cool on the trailers and stuff that I'd seen. Um, the design, et cetera, et cetera. The concept of uh, basically having um, the horror of Lovecraft. If you're familiar with the writer of Lovecraft, he wrote a lot of occult horror. Um, according to Steam and the post from Moons of Madness, Moons of Madness is a first-person story-driven cosmic horror game where the scientific exploration of Mars meets the supernatural dread of Lovecraft. Um, and it's kind of a thing where you need to go around, read the back of stuff, look at stuff, um, and uh, check it out. You you basically are a technician stationed uh, and on a planet, and I believe it's Mars, yeah. And uh, you need to uh, go through the research outpost and try and figure out the secrets and what's going on all the time. All the time, you're um, uh, you know you've got horrors that are coming out, and you're discovering all sorts of stuff, yada yada yada. Um, so uh, I, I I didn't get far into the story. The story. I got to tell you, it is painfully slow, painfully slow. The horror moments are just you know, your classic music comes up, stuff jumps out at you, scares you, shocks you, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's, it's, but, but the action or lack of action, I suppose you call it, is painfully slow. The controls are incredibly non intuitive. Um, you, you can sometimes spend hours searching around a room for whatever the hell you're looking for. And somehow it either doesn't register on your screens or you can't find it or, you know, I, I don't even know. I spent like, I think half an hour in one room alone, just trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, you've got to be very perceptive and used to these story modes. Maybe if this is your thing, you'll really love this, but I got to tell you, it's really ambiguous and non-intuitive in so many different cases. Um, in fact, if you're not careful, you can't even get out of the first room unless you notice on the back of a picture, there's a code to get out of the room, which is fine. It's just painfully slow. Like I watching paint dry moves a lot faster than this thing does. Uh, it's just painfully, arduously slow. Your movement as a character is slow. Um, I seriously quit the game after, I think, I don't even know, a couple hours of gameplay to try and figure the damn thing out. But probably, I don't know, I probably progressed, I don't know, five minutes into the game or something or five minutes of sequence and story into the game. Um, it's painfully, arduously slow to the point you want to claw your face off. Um... If you are into these types of stories and you love horror and you love, you know, figuring stuff out and you don't mind a slow as snail space um, to pace to take and deliver that story, then this is yours. This is your thing, man. And I realize that I'm not into uh, all the sort of games that everyone else is into. Uh, I love shooter games and everything else. But I was really sold on this the fact this would be a really beautiful, interesting, and uh, and compelling story, which for me, it is not in any way, shape, or form. Seriously, I'd rather watch Paint Dry or C-SPAN or anything else that might be more interesting than this story. Uh, I It looks like it has a lot of cool, different, interesting things. You're constantly interacting with... Uh, you know, these risk things and, and stories that you have to read and piece together. Uh, it's just painfully, arduously slow. Um, you know, I don't think, I don't think when the Iranians run nails underneath your fingernails, uh, that they move this slow. Uh, and if they do, 
God bless him. Uh, if if you want to call it torture and horror, the story and its outlay and the slowness is a story of horror, horror and torture in of itself to where I just finally gave up. No one on my Twitch stream seemed even remotely interested in the slowness of the game, the slowness of the intuitiveness, trying to figure it out. Maybe it gets better as you get through it, but I... Um, I would like to do stuff with my life before I pass away. So there's that. Um, I, it looks like a, an interesting game, and I'm sure that the developers had a lot of uh, good intent to it. And uh, if this is your kind of story, maybe this is for you. But I can tell you, it's certainly not for me. It's certainly not for my audience that, that saw it on Twitch. Um, and uh, a game with a lot of promise just is intuitively, um, painfully a slow um, horror nightmare in and of itself, just in gameplay. So anyway, I can't stress that enough. Wow, man. I can't think of a time I've hated a game more recently. Um, let me think. Oh yeah. Anthem Anthem. Yeah. I hated Anthem. Anyway, um, you can check it out. If this is your thing, you'll love these slow story modes where you can solve puzzles and Arduously non-intuitive stuff that you almost have to be a brain surgeon to figure out. You can go to moonsofmadness.com. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, guys, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Chris Voss. You can uh, follow our Discord that we have and see all the other wonderful games we reviewed. Uh, sad to say I didn't like this one. I really was excited and interested and thought this game was going to be much more awesome than it was. Um and uh, I'll leave it up to you, the reader, to decide if this is your thing. Um, the cheap pop-out surprise, boogie, the, you know, things. I get tired of that. Give me, like, real horror or real something else. Uh, you, you know, just pop-out, jump-out stuff. That gets really old. That's just cheap movie stuff in my book. So, um, anyway, I threaded the game, and it drove me mad. Um, but that wasn't the game itself, just the play of the game. So I guess in some way it achieved, uh, it's horror. So there you go. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.